Why would you... Why would this be necessary? The eagle responds to a fog horn. Why is this even necessary? They're just birds. Oh wow, we ate that one. They're just birds. It's not like birds can stop an airship. I don't even know why we need to do that. Who cares, eh? Who cares about logic? We just do stuff. Run, Kate. I really hope we dump Dan by the end of the game. We really, really need to ditch that guy. We're probably gonna stay in Siberia too. Ride manners for the rest of the of our lives. All right, let's go. And. We're taking an airship to Aroberg. Sure. I mean, it's cool, but... Why on earth would this even happen? <laughs> like, it's pretty awesome, but why would this happen? This makes no sense. What of mountains, man? I wonder what their, you know, thinking process is when they design the game. So, all right, airship. I'm gonna put an airship in this game somewhere, and they just did it. <laughs> right? Like, why would you have an airship? I don't know. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Great. Okay, let's save the game because we we accomplished getting to Aroberg by looking at walkthroughs. Because I sure as hell I'm not gonna waste my time running around. This is nice. Well, I mean, it was nice before everything ran, you know, got run down and then broken and everything. Alright, so what amazing things are we going to do here? Uh, who is it now? Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Yeah, sure. Certainly, Mr. Marson. We all do. Down on the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new development. Yes, there is. Kate, I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. Firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. I'm still I'm on the job. I'm only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. All the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results. Yes, Mr. Marson. No. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do if there's no results? He's gonna come here himself? No, he's not. Who cares about him? What's he gonna do? Nothing. Let's play with the fountain. <laughs> that is so beautiful. No, play with it. Jump in it. Splash that it. is so beautiful. No, no, jump into it. And how is the fountain still working? Everything else is broken. We can just walk out, apparently. Or we can walk in. Let's, let's walk out. Just because we can. Um, okay, we, we're out. But now what? 
Oh, it's a train station. Interesting. But why? Okay, we've been back here again. What's the- Oh, hey, there's a winding mechanism here too. The train's gonna come this way later, isn't it? I think it is. Alright, well, let's just go back. We don't have a train to wind up just yet. But we will, later. Probably. Hello? Anybody home? This place is still occupied? Good morning, sir. Amazing. Good day to you, ma'am. And welcome to the Hotel Kotsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with a sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, well, actually I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? He's watching soccer on the television. That's amazing. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer sent by a major American law firm to take care of a delicate inheritance case. Ah, very pleased to meet you, Miss Walker. Felix Matana at your service. I'm the receptionist of this establishment. Between you and me and Brick Wall, I often play the role of general manager here, too. Ah, these days the place ain't what it used to be. This hotel is truly incredible, though. It's kind of sumptuous in an old-fashioned way. You should see how sumptuous our suites are. For more than a whole century, they have accommodated some of the world's greats. Would you like to take one? Yes. No, yes. it's okay, thank yes. you. Yes. I'm not staying. I've got to get away. I'm expected. Uh. Right. Well, in that case, I don't see what I can do for you. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please. I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. Her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So, please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. Okay, what's your number? I'll call you right now, actually. I can do that, I got a phone with me. I can call you right now if you want me to. Just give me your phone number, and I'll call you right here. Sir, I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am. But my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. See, that's why you need to get well, a room. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger. You hear? Uh, you should have taken a room. Could you tell me if a certain Hans Vorlberg has ever been here? Of course he has. On a spa holiday? Uh, yes, yes, that's it. I'm sorry. But our hotel register is strictly confidential. Come on, please. It's not like it's a state secret you're telling me here. And if I just let you consult our register, uh, what am I going to get out of it? Uh, my eternal gratitude? That's just what I was expecting. Adieu, Mr. French say, madame. Don't I have a bottle of vodka? Usually I travel on this fantastic mechanical train. Haven't I seen some kind of a station here? Is it possible to arrive here by train, then? Of course it is. What were you suggesting? Uh, if I'm not very much mistaken, that's your air balloon I see getting blown to shreds in the hotel garden. Oh, yeah, the airship. That's a bit different. I just borrowed that to make the round-trip journey to Arrowbad. Whatever. You better think about getting it off there, and quick. With that contraption on my lawn, some of my clientele might have a relapse. <laughs> relapse? It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. But how do you stay 
open if you have no guests? Where do you get your money from? Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Would you like a bottle of vodka? No, no, he wouldn't. Uh, can I get your phone number so I can call your hotel? No, I can't. All right. Um. Oh, curtains. Cool. But why though? Um. Hey, how do you how do you feel about the curtains being open? I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Bolted, Why you Why are you say? telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, ma'am, and we've had to introduce a security system. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. Um. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. Cool. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Why don't we just take a room? Okay. Um. I guess we're just gonna walk around. So there's, there's that side. Oh, that's just him again, never mind. So there's this side. Statues. A copy of Greek statues. There's a door there. There's that there. It's bolted, right? No! Oh! The door is locked. But I've still got to get in there. Indeed. No, we can't use the metal shears. Can't use the screwdrivers. All right. What's this? Huh. Attack! 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 So they lock the main gate, but they don't lock the supply. I don't know what that is. Um, that's it? A bottle? That's all I have. Um, fascinating. Alright, so what is detergent? Vodka? What the hell am I doing with detergent? Doing that. Oh, let's put detergent in the fountain. <laughs> That's always fun. It's always entertaining, I'm sure. Oh no! What's happening to your fountain? <laughs> That's so bad. Bubble bath, anyone? <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, hi. Your fountain seems to be frothing at the mouth. Also, what is this? Is that a bell? Or is it a bell? Ha! Huh. Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Huh. Wait a minute, where's he going? There's a door at the side? Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to take a break right now. And then when we come back, we're going to, uh, I guess, loot his office. Alright, let me just save the game quickly. And when we come back, we'll get up to more shenanigans. I'll see you guys in the next video.